Hello, and what's your name? Hello, my name is Lee, and, for obvious reasons, I'm also known as the Lost Voice Guy. OK, and how long have you lost your voice? I just knew you were going to ask something that I hadn't thought about beforehand. <laughs> so please excuse the awkward silence while I type out my answer. I've been speechless for 37 years. Wow. Tell me why you decided to enter the show this year. I think I entered Britain's Got Talent for the same reason everyone does. To meet Anton Deck. Yay! Yay! This is all going so well up until that point. <laughs> the stage, Lee, is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you may be able to tell, I'm a struggling stand-up comedian who also struggles to stand up. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure how good I am. I'll leave that for you to decide. But, just so you know, if you don't laugh at the disabled guy, you are going to hell. <laughs> When I realized I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. <laughs> I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. <laughs> I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as the next train to arrive on platform <laughs> 4 is the 1252 service to London King's Cross. And, from my time at the post office, please go to cashier number 8. I got the train here today. I always like to sit in those seats for disabled people. I was about halfway here when another disabled person got on and asked me to move. I didn't realize I'd be playing disabled top trumps when I got on or I would have dressed more special. <laughs> Needless to say I didn't give up my seat. Who cares if he was both blind and deaf? I was there first. It was very awkward. He couldn't see that I was still there. And I couldn't tell him I wasn't moving because I can't speak. Before I leave you, I have one more thing to say. I hate that we have so many, politically, correct words to describe disabled people now. It's all special needs. Special schools, Special Olympics. I don't know what is so special about me. That is why it always alarms me when I hear about special forces going to war. You've been a fantastic audience. Goodbye. Hello, it's great to be back on Britain's Got Talent. If you missed it, my audition is on YouTube. I think the person who uploaded it is taking the mic though. Because the comments are disabled. <laughs> Sorry if I seem a bit nervous tonight, but being in the semi-final has made me very emotional. You can probably tell by my voice. <laughs> it's such an honor to be performing here. I hope my parents can be proud of me now.
because it's been 37 years, and they are still waiting to hear if my first word is going to be mummy or daddy. In case you were still in any doubt, I really am disabled. It's definitely not just really good acting. And I'm not just in it for the parking space. I lost my voice when I was very young, and I haven't found it since. I've looked everywhere for it, down the back of the chair, in the washing machine, everywhere. On the bright side, I did find the television remote control, so I can still mute Britain's Got Talent, whenever Simon speaks. Thank you. I like you. It's been really crazy since my first audition. Yesterday I was invited onto a radio show to do an interview, but I couldn't be bothered going. So I just sent my computer, and a note saying, press play. <laughs> you get asked some really strange questions when you are disabled. So, let's deal with the questions I get asked every day. That's a bit of a personal question, fats and small. But since you asked, I have a disability called cerebral palsy. Don't worry, you can't catch it from me. It just means you better not get stuck behind me on the stairs if there's a fire. I have been disabled since before it was popular. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to leave you with an impression I've been working on. Hello, this is your queen. One orders you to vote for Lost Voice Guy. Or the corgi gets it. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a wonderful audience. Even if you haven't, I can't really change what I say at this point. Goodbye. Hello ladies and gentlemen. I know what you're all thinking, the famer has gone to his head, he's had a facelift, and it's almost as bad as Simon's. <laughs> the truth is that after winning the semi-final, I went to the bar to celebrate. People kept asking if I wanted another drink. By the time I typed no, they bought me one. In the end, I fell over. So now I'm known as the lost balance guy. It is also hard to interact with the audience when you use a computer, so please don't heckle me, or we'll be here all night. I will try to talk to someone though. Hello David. Are you having a nice time in this generic town or city? <laughs> yes, thank you. Good. People have often asked me why I want to put myself in a position where everyone can stare and laugh at me. The truth is that it happens to me every day anyway. At least this way there's a scheduled time and place for it. I do it because I want to be famous too. 
I started off in a disabled steps tribute band. We were called Ramps. That was a bit of an uphill struggle. I used to often think about going on the X Factor just to see the look on their faces when they realize I can't actually sing. Or dance. Or talk. But I'd like to play you a clip of what I think would happen if I did go on the X Factor. Don't you know I'm still standing better than I ever did? Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. I'm still standing after all this time. Picking up the pieces in my life without you on my mind. I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, you've probably been wondering what I've been pressing on my tablet throughout the competition. The truth is that I've actually just spent the last three minutes voting for myself. I hope you had a fun laughing at a disabled man. Goodbye.